Good day guys, today I just want to give you a few tips on the, the gearbox, the topping up of gearbox oil and the changing of gearbox oil. Many people still find this a hard thing to do because they do not know where the correct holes are and they fill up oil in the wrong holes. Let me give you a few tips. Number one, this is not where you fill in gearbox oil. Please don't fill up in there, that is an inspection hole used for ignition timing. Okay, the next hole that you must not use to fill up gearbox oil is this here, which some people use, is the reverse light switch. They will remove this and they will unscrew that and they will attempt to throw gearbox oil in there. It's a very small hole and you're going to cause a big mess. Please don't do that. Another area where people tend to throw in gearbox oil is here with the speedo cable. They will loosen that bolt there and remove the speedo cable and pop up there. That you risk parts of the speedo cable falling into the gearbox if you start pulling and tugging on this gearbox um, cable so this is a bit of a risky move here so please rather not top up from that area because you will not know how much oil that you actually have in your gearbox by doing that because the filler nut will not be removed now that is the area in which I'm going to next I want to show you where to actually fill up the gearbox oil by loosening which is commonly called the filler nut and I'm going to take you there right now and that means we need to go underneath the car to see this okay so I'm underneath the car so this is what is commonly called the filler nut this is the area this is the nut that needs to be loosened to fill up with gear oil or to top up as you can see it's a 17 inch type allen key tool that you would need but uh, many people become very creative and use and make their own tools you know like the back of a 17 inch bolt so the idea is once you've removed this and oil runs out of here cable okay, oil run out of here you will know that your level is correct if nothing runs out then you know that you need to top up so when you top up you throw oil in here you insert a little pipe in here and you'll throw in some more oil and then as it seeps out you know it's reaching its level so that is basically how you would top up your oil level and thereafter you will just close this tightly and that is basically how you top up your gearbox oil okay that was a top up but now for example if you want to do a full gearbox oil change by draining the old oil you will have to go to this nut here now that nut is situated right underneath your gearbox that is a better view over there so that nut 17 millimeter allen key same as the filler nut has to be loosened once you loosen this you will be able to drain out your old gear oil and then you will be able to top it up by going back to your filler nut and filling in your new gear oil you're going to need about 1.8 to 2 liters of new gear oil to fill up there this is just a tip before you even remove this nut make sure ensure that you are able to loosen this one here because if you cannot loosen this one and you've drained out all your oil already then you're going to be stuck with the situation that you can't get oil back into your car so first remove your filler nut which is this one here and then you proceed to this one at the bottom here and that is how you would basically do a gearbox oil top up or oil change Thanks for watching guys, hope this bit of information has helped you.